Hi and welcome to the Three Night Channel. So today's video is going to be about color. Now if you look at these flashlights on the table you can see that these four are black and this one on the left is a very brilliant red color but that's not what we're talking about. All right, this happens to be the Three Night TT20 in this beautiful red. Now today we're talking about the LED color. All right, this is a question that pops up occasionally. People ask uh, certain flashlights have different LEDs in them. They might have a red LED or a blue LED or a green LED. What is the purpose of that? And that's what we're going to talk about today. So just for demonstration purposes, I grabbed a, a few different flashlights here. Again, this is the Through Night TT20. This is the Nightcore P10i. In the middle here, we have the LED Lenser. This is the model P6R. Uh, to the right of that, we have the Olight Baton Pro. And to the right, we have the Phoenix PD35. Now these are just representations of just some random flashlights. A lot of you guys are used to grabbing your regular flashlights and when you turn them on, we see this very white color. All right, same with uh, this one here. Very white, very cool white. Some flashlights do have um, warmer white LEDs. In this case, this is just a, you know, a few popular lights on the market. And these happen to all be in a cool white coloration, right? So we're all used to whites. However, what about a little bit of color? So on this LED lenser, you can see that there's little notches here. Now these little notches are different color LEDs. And if you look into the head here and zoom in, you might be able to tell that down there on the circuit board, there's actually four completely separate LEDs. All right, and in rotating this head, it'll show you different colors. All right, so we turn this on and we have white, but if I rotate it, it goes to blue. Rotate it again, it goes to green. Rotate it again, and it goes to red. Now some of these colors are a little more common than others. I would say that the red LED is probably the most common uh, color that you're gonna encounter just in regular flashlights. Um, sometimes you'll have, especially headlamps, you might have a regular white LED, but then you have the red option. So let's go over these a little bit here. So the first color we're gonna talk about is the red. All right, so in this case, we're gonna put it on the red notch, and there it is, a red LED. So what would you use a red LED for? Well, this is the best color to preserve your night vision, all right? Just the human eye picks up red, the least of all the other colors. This is fantastic if you want to look at something at night and preserve your own night vision, all right? So you can still be able to see uh, as we have, you know, dark light. So if you used, let's say, you know, one of these other lights and you want to look at something, let's say you're camping, all right? You're out in the woods, it's super dark. You want to look at something real quick. We turn that light on and what happens is you're, your pupils are really open, they, they dilate, they get really small, okay, because there's so much light coming at you at once. Um, and then when you shut the light off, it's very hard to see, because now your, your pupils are really small and they have to slowly open back up to allow more light in to be able to see at night. Now when you use this red LED, your eyes don't need to adjust as much, all right? So that's a huge advantage when you're trying to preserve your night vision. Now besides that, the color red is also the universal color for emergencies. All right, so if you're trying to get someone's attention, the red definitely gets attention for people. Also, if you wanna be considerate, let's say we go back to that camping scenario, you're camping with four or five other people, maybe in the middle of the night, you wanna get up and go do something, look through your bag, leave the tent. Using that red light is gonna be a little easier uh, on not only your eyes, but anyone else who happens to still be sleeping, it's not gonna be this intrusive light. All right, so the next color is green. What is the color green used for? Well, the color green is used quite often by uh, hunters, a lot of outdoor activities. It is said that the color green has proven to attract different animals, especially deer. So if you happen to be out hunting, you might want to use the color green. I know that um, where I live, there happens to be a couple hunting shacks nearby and their outdoor lighting, where you normally would have a white light next to your door, they have a green light. And again, they leave that on all night long, and that is to attract different types of animals. Not only does it attract animals, but it's also less likely to spook them off or scare them. All right, so if you are in a hunting scenario and you do need to use light, it's nice to use that green color because it's, it's less uh, of a chance that you're going to spook any animals that are nearby. Now, besides that, green is also preferable for preserving night vision. All right, not quite as good as the red, as I talked about before, but it still does work better than white. So the last one here is blue. 
All right, what would blue be used for? Well, blue is used for a couple things. The first one is blue is fantastic for looking at maps at night. Specifically, the military uses blue. And the reason for that is that some maps have red lines on them. And if you use the red, right, which we're used to using now, now we know, for night vision, unfortunately, if you had red lines on a map, you would not be able to see them. They'd be blown out by the red light. So by using blue, you're able to see all the colors on the map. All right, all those different lines. All right, so that is why the military specifically uses blue for map reading. Now, besides that, it's also used by police quite often, as you've seen that before, as well as investigators. And that's because the color blue allows the human eye to see different types of fluids like blood or bodily fluids. Okay, so if you happen to be at a crime scene and you want to see if maybe blood is over there, you might not be able to see it as well with your human eye but you shine some blue light on there and it tends to show itself a little bit better. All right, this is also used by hunters, okay, to track an animal. So if you happen to be in a hunting scenario and you shot an animal, but the animal ran off, you can use that blue light to find, you know, blood that's been dripping as it's, you know, obviously running away. So you can find wherever it happened to go. Now, another interesting fact about blue is blue cuts through fog very, very well. I know, uh, at least here in America, you see a lot of fog lights on cars that are yellow. Yellow travels very uh, far as far as the wavelengths of the color. That's why it's often used for fog lights. But occasionally you might see vehicles that have blue fog lights. And the reason for that is that the color blue is more visible pushing through that fog. All right, it allows you to see a little bit better. So hopefully this was a little bit interesting. Uh, what we do is I'm going to get outside real quick and we give you a little bit of a demo on each one of these colors. So you can kind of see the difference uh, as far as how this looks uh, at night. So let's head outside. All right, so I'm outside here. I'm just gonna give you a quick little shot of each different color. All right, starting with white, which we're all pretty used to. All right, as I rotate this, now we can see the red. All right, rotate it again. Now we're into green. Again, and we're at blue. All right, so of course, most of you are familiar with all these standard colors, but it's interesting to see it in a flashlight, as a lot of people don't get a chance to do that. So hopefully this better explains some of the uses for these different color LEDs. Of course, they're not just limited to everything that I've explained here. There are plenty of other uses as well, but these are some of the major ones and why people pick certain flashlights that have those different color LEDs in there, so they can use them for very specific purposes. Now, if you don't know, Through Night does product giveaways all the time. All you have to do to enter is comment on these videos and subscribe to this channel. It is 100% free to you, the viewer. Thanks for watching.